Welcome to Piano Video Lessons Year 1. Today's lesson is Unit 2, Lesson 7, and it's YouTube video number 23 for the Year 1 series. You can come to my website to find these printable materials and a list, a handy list of all the lessons in these units. So today we're learning a piece called Let's Go Skipping Hands Together. And in the last lesson we learned about moving by skips. So we discovered that if we had two line notes in a row, that we would skip over the space note. And we would play that with either fingers two and four or fingers one and three, because we need to skip over a finger. Or if we started on three, we would play it with finger five. So these two line notes represent a skip, also called a third. And then we could also have two space notes, which would be the same idea. Space to space, skipping over this line note. And we could play that with fingers one and three, fingers two and four, or fingers three and five. If we have notes that move from a line to a space, those notes are neighboring notes. So they would move from line to space, and they would be neighbors, or a second. So now looking at the piece of music, let's go skipping hands together, we're going to have a look and see what's happening at the beginning. We're starting off on the bottom line, and we're going to go line, 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 line. So in this section here, there are no space notes. So if we're not repeating the E, we have to play a skip away from E. So it's going to be E, and then skip, and then back to E. And then that pattern repeats in the second measure. So here we have a skip, and another skip. And then we have neighbor, or repeat, repeat, repeat. And then we have skip, and another skip and then repeat. Now, going from E to the next measure, we go from line to line. And we know that if we go from a line to a line, it means we've skipped over a space. So that's going to skip as well. And then we have line, space, line, space, line. And you know that that means that those notes are moving by neighbors. So we can just visually reinforce that with some lines connecting them. Let's look at line two. Uh, same pattern as the first measure, identical, so it's E, skip, E, 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 skip, E, E. Now, in this next measure, uh, we had D, E going to G before, but now we have E going down, and it's going from line to space. So in this case, we're going to go a neighbor, and then we have space, space, okay, that's going to be a skip, or a third. And then from this space, we have line, space, line. And we know that when we go space, line, space, line, that those notes are neighbors. So let's go ahead and try playing just the right hand for this piece. We're going to put our third finger on E, then we're going to skip. We're going to go back to E, play it again, then we're going to play E again, and skip, and back to E again. So what finger did we use when we skipped down? We used our thumb, didn't we, on C. So we just finished off here with the E, and now we're going to skip up. So this goes from E, on the bottom line, skipping up to the second line. So I'm going to skip my fourth finger and play my fifth finger on G. And now I'm going to go down neighbor, 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 neighbor. Let's try that again. I'm going to keep a beat this time. E, skip. E, repeat. E, skip. E, repeat. Skip. Neighbor, 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 neighbor. Notice I only said E. I didn't name any of the other notes. That's because I didn't need to. I could tell how far my hand needed to jump to which finger based on whether it was a line or a space note. Let's try line two. E, skip, E, repeat. E, skip, E, repeat. Neighbor, skip. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. So when you're playing through these pieces, it's important to look for skips. You're going to start to see more and more skips all the time. Um, and we're going to be playing it with both hands, in fact. Um, the left hand is going to play three different notes. The left hand is going to play two on G, and again on G, and then it's going to step down one note to F, and then it's going to go to the space note. So it was just another step. These ones are harder to see as neighbors and skips because they're so far apart from each other. We have to go all the way over here to see the next note. But you can tell that it's down a step to E. Then we start back on G, and we have another G, which was the top space. This is going to be a step, and then we're going to step down again. So it's good to know what's happening here in the left hand. 
And now the tricky thing is going to be just the endings of these two lines, because the first part is the same um, for both hands. In fact, it's G and G and the same pattern. It's G and G and the same pattern. That's going to be repetitive, so we'll get the hang of that. And then we're going to look at this part here and see that this one walks down to G while changing notes in the left, and this one is going to be trickier than the other. So we should practice both of these two endings a little bit. So let's start with this one here. We're going to play the left hand finger three on F, and we're going to start off on G. And when we placed our hand originally, we had our third finger on E. So that means we're going to have our five here on this G. So five on G and three on F. We're going to play just those four notes. So I was holding for four. And then I'm going to change to E. That is tricky. You might need to practice that a bit. All right, so that's the feeling for that. Um, practice that a bunch of times. I just did it twice. But we're now we're going to try this one. And it's the same idea. We're going to go from F down to E in the left hand. But the right hand is going to have a skip right away. So F with the left hand, D on the right and a skip right away. Skip, walking down, and then finishing with a new note in the left. We're going to go to four. All right, that is tricky. Let's do it again. Excellent. You should do that five times. You should do it without missing a beat. So if you have this, While you got the notes right and you got the fingers right, you had to think extra long between some of those notes. So anytime you have thinking in between the notes, it means you need to practice it a bit more until you can play it steadily, like a clock ticking on the beat with every note landing on its beat. All right, so practice Let's Go Skipping Hands Together. I'll play it for you one more time until it sounds like this. So that might take some practicing, work on it line by line, really figure out the patterns, keep a steady beat, count to four, all of the good things that we always do with our um, new piece practicing. All right, so join me in lesson eight, where we're going to do a finger gym to get even more coordinated with our fingers playing hands together, because this is the hard part at this point, is coordinating everybody. Uh, and again, join me on pianovideolessons.com for all of this wonderful uh, lesson materials and the sequence of the lessons.